give us a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, share the video, and leave a comment. We respect your opinion. Thank you. Man, all these sleeping bags. I'll tell you, when it comes to sleeping bags, you can roll them if they're suitable for rolling. Or you can stuff it in a bag, of course. If you roll them, usually you can compress them a lot. Some bags, such as the one we have in here, you cannot roll this tight because of the way it's made. Almost all bags now are synthetic. Everything. There are exceptions. With the creation of the compression sack, the cinch sack, you can really squish up just about anything make it fit. This has got three different sleeping bags in it. This is the MSS system. So you can roll them or stuff them. The big secret is this. They must be clean. They must be dry. That's the big one. And then you put them in a plastic bag. And then I like to use a duffel bag. Once they're rolled or stuffed, into their particular sack, put them in a plastic bag, squeeze out the air, seal it up, put them in a heavy duty bag, put them in a plastic container, put them in whatever you want as long as it will protect them from the weather, from moisture and rodents and things like that, even though you have them inside your home or out in the shed. That's where you really have to worry about rodents or bugs or something, but you shouldn't have any problem. That's the big secret. Roll them or stuff it. Let's get going. Storing sleeping bags, very important. Most people, and if you have the room in the climate controlled area, would be nice to have two by four going across or a pipe, plastic pipe, let it hang. That way nothing gets bunched up. If it's a quality bag, it should not get bunched up anyway. Otherwise, you go camping, you come home, you take everything out and you make sure it's dry, it's clean. If not, you have to launder it. If you go camping a lot, you'll be going through a lot of bags. This here's a good bag. Lasted many years, no problem. Now, when you get in some of the more complicated systems, so to speak, this is the MSS sleep system, military. Excellent. It's got everything you need. Three bags in one. You can take it apart. You can only use one bag or all three if it's going to be extra cold. If you have the MSS sleep system, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of times if you store a cheaper bag or a bag that's not made well, not necessarily cheaper or inexpensive, a lot of times it'll bunch up. Well, how do you get all that bunching out? Take it out. You, shake, you open it up, you shake it, let it hang out a little bit. When you get back home, make sure everything's dry. I cannot say that enough. Make sure it's dry and clean, and then you roll it up. You can put it in a cinch bag or a compression bag, much like this, and you can just squeeze that right down so it fits in your backpack better. Or you can go ahead and tie it on better. So you have to to go ahead and look at what it is that you want in a sleeping bag. I usually like something that if it gets cold, it's good enough to keep me warm. That's important. So it may weigh a little bit more, but you don't want to be a pack horse. Now, you just go ahead and fold it up. You roll it up super tight. And then what we do, let me get this out of the way, put this over here. Here's a military bag. 
typical mummy bag. I got the spaghetti harness on it. You can put it in uh, translucent bags, uh, see-through bags, trash bags, put them in. The reason why I do this is, is because I'll show you what we store these in in just a little bit. Once it's clean and thoroughly dry, that's so important. Okay, here, typical military mummy bag, no sense to unroll it. Everyone knows what they are. If not, there's plenty of examples. Go to a surplus store and take a look. Look around on YouTube. I put the spaghetti system on here. It's old. I've had it for years. Roll it up. You tie it together. It's dry. You just came in from uh, camping. Maybe you had to launder it. You had to throw it through a dryer. Now, you just roll it up. Get it tight, put it back in a bag. The reason why is just in case, for whatever reason, it starts to get wet. It starts to leak where you have it stored at. You don't have to worry about it getting wet. And then later you come in weeks, months later, and it's ruined because of mold, mildew, and things like that. You can store them in your MSS carrier bag. Get rid of that one. I got these here on sale. You wouldn't believe it. $10 a piece. They are brand new, unissued, actual military surplus. What I like to do is keep everything in heavy duty bags. You can use a flight bag, commonly referred to as a flight bag. Put them in. Store them away. And they will last your entire lifetime if you take care of them. Here's another one. It's really good. This is the old style. I think this is the original one from the early 70s. I'm not for sure. One of these are. You know what this is, don't you? A duffel bag. That's right. Just load them in the duffel bag, pack them in there tight, seal this off. Now remember, they're in plastic bags. They won't get wet. They'll be absolutely exactly the way they were when you put them in there years later store them hopefully in a climate controlled area hot and cold variations like in a shed or something not going to hurt best way to protect your investments you can get some good surplus gear it's the best that you can get it's been proven when you pack these things down in a compression bag they will fit a lot better in your backpack or in a separate bag that to your backpack that's all there is to it the bag is very important Sometimes, depending upon your manufacturer, it can be lightweight or a little bit heavier weight depending upon what you want. You can go up to a bivy where basically you sleep on the ground, you're insulated more, but that's for another class. That's how you store bags. Make sure they're dry, they're clean, put them in a plastic bag to help protect them, just like everything would be in a wet weather bag if they were in your pack. So that's what you need to remember store them away they will last you a lifetime